So today you're going to learn how to generate normal bump maps just using a normal photo. So if you're out on the street and you see a nice texture but just got your phone, you just take a photo of the wall for a nice rock texture. You're going to need bump maps or normal maps later on. So I'm going to show you how to do that in the best and easiest way using Photoshop. So we're just going to jump right into Blender. Uh, I got my standard scene here. I'm just going to create a standard material real quick, add an image node texture. So I'm just going to import my photo real quick. So it's just a photo of a wall. It doesn't really matter. It can be anything with any camera, with any phone. So I'm just going to do a quick speed through of my scene setup here so you kind of understand what I'm going for. So as you can see, when I changed the roughness, the rock is very smooth and it looks a bit unrealistic or even cheap. So we're going to hop in right into Photoshop and then on filters, 3D and generate bump map, you're going to find this bump map tool. So you can just play around with the settings until it looks nice. So I'm just looking at the carvings of the rock so it just kind of looks like it probably would look in real life of course we can just do this by eyeballing it right now since we don't have a scanned wall we just got this one texture so just play around with it so it looks good and then you just save this texture that's pretty much it so next we're gonna generate a normal map in the same way so filters 3d generate normal map just play around with the settings also eyeball this again just so it looks good Oh, just whatever. Then save it. I'm going to hop in right into Blender, open it up, add a new image node. Um, then we're going to open up the normal map first. So this doesn't look fully correct, as you can see, since a normal map node is missing. So add a normal map node. Now it almost looks correct. There's one thing missing here. Uh, you have to change your um, image node to non-color detail. This is very important using normal maps. So now it looks good. And now you see you got a simple normal map on your cube that you didn't have before. <laughs> so just generated from your image. So this is a cool, quick way on generating cool, um, yeah, physical based shaders. So now we're just going to add our bump map real quick, add a bump node in between. So here again, it looks wrong because uh, you always have to hook it up to height and not into normal. So and now you see we've got a nice bump map. So similar results to the normal map, but still sometimes you'll need a bump map. Sometimes you'll need a normal map, especially if you're working for someone creating a WebGL application or a game or something in Unity 3D or in the Unreal Engine, they're definitely going to ask you for a normal map and not for a bump map. So also if you have a bump map already, you could also convert the bump map to a normal map using Photoshop. So this is just the easy, quick way to generate normal maps and bump maps. So I just thought I'll throw it out there for people that don't know yet. So here it is. Goodbye. Have fun.